So the, in the eleventh canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, we have Karapachana Muni answering a question by Maharaj Nimi. Maharaj Nimi wanted to know about the Lord's incarnations in each age. So Maharaj Nimi and Bharande, our Gandhi Bhagavan or Bhagavan Yukadam Avatara in Naya Sandhya was the Kanya Nimi. In other words, he wanted to know about the Yuga avatars. Yuga avatars, right? There's four ages. There's the Sata Yuga, there's the Treta Yuga, Dwapara Yuga, and Kali Yuga. So, Nandri Yuga is the Yuga Avatar. So, in the Nandri Yuga, we have the Yuga Avatar. We have the Yuga Avatar. We have the Yuga Avatar. And the Lord comes in every age. In Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna says, Samabhami Yuge Yuge, that I come in every age. So, Sri Krishna Bhagavan Bhagavad Gita is telling him that Samabhami Yuge Yuge over the Yuga Dora and Tundra Gita. Sometimes people think, oh, the Lord does not come in the Kali Yuga. He is known as Tree Yuga. Meaning, he does not come in the Kali Yuga, he only comes in the Satya and in the Treta and the Dwapara, but he won't come in the Kali Yuga. That is wrong. No, the Lord comes in every age, and in each age there is a different process by which we can become self-realized. Just like in the Satya Yuga, people live one lakh. They live to be one lakh. They live 100,000 years. So they could practice a process of self-realization they could practice meditation and they could achieve the perfection of life. So, Satya Yuga Tala Vandha Nurar Varsha Mahalikinda Agar Bhagavan Mariya Adhade Daun Parindya Agar Vandha Inda Bhagavan Mariya Agar Bhagavan Mariya Agar Bhagavan Mariya Agar Mukti Ke Agar Mahitya Sayyidha Agar We have the example of Kardama Muni. Kardama Muni became the husband of Devahuti. Devahuti was the daughter of Swayam Bhuvamanu and Kardama Muni was a yogi and for 10,000 years he practiced Astanga Yoga and after practicing Astanga Yoga for 10,000 years then he accepted Devahuti as his wife and he enjoyed family life with his wife, they produced children and after enjoying family life then he renounced. So, Karapan Muni Vandhi, Pataara Vansa Vandhi, Dastani Yonam Saita, Hattaya Gunam Saita Paraga, Avatirmanam Saita, Avatirmanam Saita, Avatirmanam Saita, Inbam Petra, Adam Paraga, Meenam Vandhi, Andavalki Paravi Saita. So, Kardama Muni was in the Satya Yuga. In the Treta Yuga, people did not live so long. The duration of life was reduced by 90%. From 100,000 years, the duration of life became 10,000 years. So, Satya Yuga Tala Nura Arvasha Mahatharagal, Adam Karim Vande, Tonada Sadhvinam Parindu Goyi, Patta Arvasandam Mahatharagal, Kherita Yuga Tala. People were not able to perform the same kind of meditation which people did in the Satya Yuga. They didn't have the peaceful, controlled minds, and they didn't have the long duration of life. So they had a different process for self-realization. And that process was fire sacrifice, Agnihotri. So Satya Yuga Tala Vandhi Dhyanam Saita Mundi Vandharagal, Adha Vandhi Tirta Yuga Tala Mundi Aamulada Saita Mundi Aamulada Saita Mundi Aamulada Kattam Aamulada Saita Mundi 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 People would do great yagyas. And by their yagyas, they would be able to bring the demigods to appear here on this planet. 
and they would come and directly receive the offerings they made in the fire. So they were able to say that, so they were able to say that, so they were able to say that, 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 the time when Lord Ramachandra appeared and there were great sages like Vishwamitra and Vashishta and they would do these yagyas. So they were great sages, they knew mantras, they had wonderful powerful mantras and it was by the help of Vishwamitra Lord Ramachandra got many mantras which he could use to kill the different Rakshasas who were living in the forest. So in the Yuga Talavandhi, Mandarangal Parikala Mone Mandhi, Ramachandra Kurta, our day Guru Kurta, the Mandarangal Mone Mahanga Mandhi, and that was the Asura Kalavandhi, Bodhi Pradhar Kaur, Surama Mahanga Yuga. However, after Trita Yuga, then comes Dwapara Yuga. And Dwapara Yuga, people become less religious. And because they're less religious, the duration of life was reduced again by 90%. From 10,000 years, the duration of life became 1,000 years. So, Satyag Dwapara Yuga Talavandhi, Pattara Vasa Maharaginda, Tretha Yuga Talavandhi, Dwapara Yuga Talavandhi, Ayana Vasa Maharaginda, Ninda Ayana Vasa and Dwapara Yuga, the people were not able to be so pure that they could do the fire yagnas and do the sacrifices the same. So it was left to people to simply show their religiosity and to get spiritual advancement by worshipping in the temple, Archa Vigra, by performing the deity worship. So in the Dwapara in the Treta in the Dwapara Yuga, Lord Krishna appeared. And Lord Krishna appeared at the end of Dwapara Yuga, but people knew that he was coming and they knew that the process in that age was to worship the deities. People would come to the temple, and in the temple, people behave properly. They don't use bad language, they don't fight and quarrel with each other in the temple. People behave to a proper standard. So, Dwapara Yuga Talavan Sri Krishna Bhagavan Navadarita, Adhan Mona Maga, Ellara Mande, Ane Gala Mande, Bhagavan Mande, Vikran Gala Mande, Pari Sri Dhaaga. Sane Mande, Ane Ti Bhara Mande, Bhartan Gala Mande, Nambar, you want to do deity worship, it's very important to be pure. You have to be very strict in your habits. You have to be very clean. You have to wash your cloth every day. You have to bathe two or three times a day. You have to keep yourself very pure, both internally and externally. Internally, we keep pure by chanting Hare Krishna mantra. So, in the Vikra Paripada Seva Dhrithi Pada, Uyinta Nila Yirikinta De, Namba Ramba Tumbat Mayaga, Namba Ramba Tumayaga, Yirikinta Vendam Chala, Kort Parakala Dhrilla, Kada Parikta Vendam Chala, Yirikinta Vendam Chala, Andara Mandu Mundu Dada Vai Nanda Dada Vendam 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 so it was in the Dwapara Yuga when temple worship became very prominent and you can see even Lord Balarama, Lord Balarama he didn't take part in the battle of Kurukshetra Instead, he went to visit holy places and he went to many different holy places where there are deities of the Lord. And he saw the deities, he also offered his respect. So, in the Dwapara Yuga Talana, we have a lot of people who are in the Kuru Chetra, 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 Kuru
அவர் கலந்து கொள்ளவில்லை அவர் வந்து ஆலயங்களை சென்று இந்த விக்கிரங்களை வந்து தரிசனம் பண்ணதுக்கு அவர் நேரத்தை செலவு செய்து கொண்டிருந்தார் many of them they have been there for thousands of years they are from the previous yuga from the dwapara yuga they were worship they were worshiped very nicely people would all come to temple and they would make offerings they would bring the food whatever food they grew whatever rice or wheat they would bring it offered to the deity if they had gold they would also want to offer gold to the deities they understood that actually everything belongs to god and it's their duty to offer to make offerings to the deities so in the dwapara yuga thala vandu ella thin vandu bhagavan ode aashirvadikka bhagavan roopamana and aashirvadikkarathukku naan arpanam seivendum shivriyaga bhaktargal vandu dhaniyangal தங்கங்கள் இந்த மாதிரியான ஆபரணங்கள் இதெல்லாம் வந்து பகவானுக்கு அர்ப்பணம் செய்து அவருடைய சேவையை பண்ணுவீங்க ஸோ வாழ்க்கையில் வந்து மூன்று விஷயங்கள் நம்ம நிச்சயமாக கடைபிடித்தாக வேண்டும் நீங்கள் வந்து தவம் செய்வது தானங்கள் கொடுப்பது அப்புறம் யஜ்ஞங்கள் செய்வது யஜ்ஞா சாக்ரிஃபைஸ் இந்த கால யுகா வி ஆல்சோ ஹாவ் டு டூ யஜ்னா வட் யஜ்னா வி கேன் டூ இன் த கால யுகா த பெஸ்ட் யஜ்னா இஸ் த சேன்டிங் ஆஃப் த ஹோலி நேம் ஸோ இந்த கலியுகத்தில் எங்கேயும் சொன்னால் நம்ம வந்து முக்கியமாக இந்த மகாமந்திரத்தை சொல்ல வேண்டும் கலியுக தர்ம் ஹரி நாம் சங்கீர்த்தான் இந்த கலியுக தி தர்மா தி ரிலிஜியஸ் பிரின்சிபல்ஸ் ஆர் அப்சர்வ் பை தி சேன்டிங் ஆஃப் த ஹோலி நேம்ஸ் ஆஃப் தி லோ ஸோ இந்த கலியுகத்தோடைய உண்மையான தர்மம் சொன்னால் இந்த கலியுகத்தில் பகவானுடைய இரவனோட திருநாமத்தை வந்து நம்ம இப்போ வந்து சொல்லி கொண்டிருக்கிறோம் we have to do some austerity tapa means we should become humble we should give up our pride and we should become humble in front of the deities when we come to temple we come to the temple to offer respects we bow before the deity we come to be seen by the deity we don't just come to see the deity ourselves but we come to be seen by the deity the deity can see all of us so it's important for us to be very humble and respectful when we come before the deity so dhavam endradhu vande romba vande nam panivaga irukka vendum aagiyal da nam vande aalayangalukku varavendum aalayangalukku vande bhagavan nam paarpadoda bhagavan vande nammai paarpadukku thayaraga irukkinda Of course, being humble, that is a great austerity for us. Because we are so proud, we are so much in the bodily consciousness of life. We are so full of false ego, we have forgotten our real position. This is the cause of our pride, and that pride is the cause of our fall down. ஸோ பனிவென்பது வந்து இந்த பக்தி வாக முக்கியமான ஒரு அங்கமாக இருக்கின்றது ஸோ பனிவாக இருப்பது வந்து நம்மளுடைய இந்த பொய் ஆங்காரத்துலேருந்து நாம் வந்து விடுபட வேண்டும் ஸோ முதல்ல நாம் தெரிய வேண்டும் நாம் இந்த உடல் அல்ல அப்படின்னு தெரிந்தால் இந்த பனிவான நிலை நம்மளுக்கு வர வேண்டும் now in the kali yuga people are less pious and less religious than ever they're very irreligious they don't have hardly any good qualities so the duration of life is reduced again by 90% from 1000 years our life is reduced to 100 
ஸோ தோட்டயுகத்தில் வந்து ஆயிரம் வருஷம் வாழ்ந்தார்கள் ஆனால் இப்போ இந்த கலியுகத்தில் வந்து இந்த ஆன்மீக ஞானமானது இந்த ஆன்மீக பயிற்சி ஆண்டு வந்து குறைந்து கொண்டே போவதால் நம்ம ஆயிரம் குறைகின்றது ஸோ இந்த கலியுகத்தில் நம்ம வந்து நூறு வருஷம் தான் வாழ்கின்றது and in the kali yuga the process is made very easy and very quick and very powerful it is stated in shrimad bhagavatam kalair dosha nite rajan asti hi eko mahaguna kirtana deva krishna shya mukta sanga param prachit that the age of kali is an ocean of fault right dosha dosha means faults so simmer bhagavata la solladhu inda kali kala dosha idu neda raja asti ekam agumana kali yugamanade romba dosham nerinda illa do you have any doshas in your chart if we do your astrological chart do you have any doshas there in your chart got a astrologic நிறைய குறைபாடுகள் இருந்தாலும் கூட But there's one good thing about the Kali Yuga and that good thing is that simply by chanting the the holy names of the Lord one can get all perfection. So Kali Yuga la pala korai padagal irundhalum kuda nammalukulle oru nalla gunam irukkindathu andha nalla gunam aanathu andha bhagavanudaiya thirunaamathu. It is a kirtan neva krishna shya mukta sangha param. The kirtan the chanting of the holy name is the important thing not just beating the drum not just banging the cymbals but the important thing is the loud chanting of the holy name so in the kaliyugal vande indha bhagavanude thirunaamam solradhu dhaan mukhyamaana oru vishayam aagum namma varudha kaliyugal karatha varugidhom adhu romba vegamaama indha bhagavanude thirunaamam indha solradhu dhaan romba oru mukhyamaana vishayam Sometimes we see people they just play the drum and they never chant. That is not the yoga dharma. It's nice you're playing the drum, but you should also chant the holy name. The loud chanting of the holy name is what will deliver us from birth and death. So sala vela ga vandha namu mardanga vandha vegamaga varanga. That is saying bro. ஆனால் முக்கியமானது வந்து பகவானுடைய திருநாமத்தை கூறுவது தான் இந்த கலிகத்தோடைய உண்மையானதாகும் இதுதான் நம்மளுக்கு வந்து பகவான் நினைக்கிறது ஸோ கலியுகத்தில் வந்து நம்ம பார்க்கலாம் நம்ம வந்து ரொம்ப குறைந்த ஆயு அப்புறம் வந்து நம்ம வந்து தவறான வழியில் நம்ம வாழ வழிநடத்துகின்றார்கள் அப்புறம் இந்த மாதிரியான கலியுகத்தில் வந்து இந்த மாதிரி நிறைய குறைபாடுகள் இருக்கின்றது ஸோ இதெல்லாம் வந்து கலியுகத்தோடைய ஒரு அறிகுறிகள் people the oh and i'm to i'm no time i'm so busy they, they will find some excuse they will not chant hari krishna although they have so much time people will be lazy to chant the holy name so kadivathil vandha romba sombal dhan sombal aaga irukindade romba somberiyaga nam irukindho சில நேரங்களில் நம்ம இந்த பகவானுடைய திருநாமத்தை சொல்ல சொன்னால் அவங்களுக்கு வந்து அது கஷ்டமாக இருக்கின்றது அந்த காரணங்கள் கூறுகின்றார்கள் அண்ட் தென் வி ஆர் மிஸ் கைடேட் வி ஆர் ஈஸிலி சீட்டிட் வித் பிரபு பஜூஸ் டு சே யூ வாண்ட் டு பி சீட்டிட் யூ ஃபைண்ட் அ சீட்டர் தேர் ஆர் மெனி சீட்டர்ஸ் ஹூ ஆர் வில்லிங் டு சீட் அஸ் 
cheater will tell you, Oh, you want to become God? I can make you God. Just pay me the money and I will make you God. So, we are unlucky. We may be looking for spiritual life, we may be sincere, but we may not find the proper process. We may find some other place, some other path which does not help us, which simply bewilders us and confuses us. We may be told all the wrong things. Just like we tell people, you should be vegetarian, you should not eat meat, fish and eggs, and other people will come and say, Oh, it's all right. You come to me, I can teach you. You don't have to be vegetarian. There was this one man, he was telling people, he said, you just come to me, be my follower. In the future, meat will leave you. He told his disciples like that. He said, meat will leave you. You don't have to leave the meat. The meat will leave you. So the result is, 40 years later, they're all still eating meat. None of them ever give up their meat. So, number and some people, they're very attached to fish. They like to eat the fish. They're very attached to fish eating. They won't give up fish eating. So they get some teacher who tells them, Oh, it's all right, you can eat fish. Fish are just like the fruit of the sea. So you can eat the fish. It's just like the fruit. It's a fruit from the sea. That is cheetah, rascal. And in the name of that, people are eating fish and getting sinful reactions. <coughs> So and then we tell people, you should give up this tea and coffee. You don't need tea and coffee. This is not spiritual. This is not prasada. You cannot drink tea and coffee and think you can offer this to Krishna. But people are so attached to these things. Oh no, I have to drink tea. Oh no, I need my coffee. How can I live without my tea and coffee? And so the result is they're more attached to tea and coffee than they are to Krishna. And so they will have to stay in the material world. So and then people are attached to things like cigarettes. They can't give up smoking cigarettes morning to night. Even though they know it's not good for health, it's expensive, it's dirty, so many reasons, but they will not give up. They're very attached. <laughs> And then people want to watch movies all day and night. When we, we know whenever Tamil movie is on, everybody's at home sitting watching Tamil movie. So 
நம்ம இந்த மாதிரியான வகுப்புகள் இருந்தாலும் கூட அவங்க வந்து திரைப்படம் பார்க்கறதுல ரொம்ப ஆர்வமா they can watch tamil movie hours and hours and one after another they will sit the whole night they will watch movie after movie oh they never bored if you ask them come to temple chant hari krishna hear bhagavat oh no no i cannot do that so sila nerangala vandha indha thirai padangala vandu oru padam adatha oru padamaga paathu kondirukkaranga naan aalayathukku vandu bhagavane dalichuvathu They'll go to plaza, they'll go to mall, they'll spend hundreds and thousands of ringgits. You ask them to give a few ringgits donation for seva for the temple. Oh no, I have no money. So now they're going to go to the supermarket. So now they're going to go to the supermarket. So now they're going to go to the supermarket. So this is Kali Yuga. You see, people have very little good quality. But the good thing about the Kali Yuga is, first of all, if you even think good, you get the benefit of doing something. You, even you don't do it, if you just think about doing good, you get the benefit of it in the Kali Yuga. In other ages you have to do something, you have to do some good to get the benefit. But in Kali Yuga, if you just think good, then you have to, then you can get the benefit. So, in other ages, you have to do something, you have to do some good to get the benefit. And if you think bad, You, you don't get any you don't you don't get any harm from thinking bad in the kali yuga but if you do something bad then you get the reaction but you don't get any reaction for just thinking namba vandu ennangalilla vandu kettadu nenaithal adu vandu nammalukku vandu kettadu edhum nadakkadhu ana namba adu seidham sonnal dhaan nammalukku vandu and reaction and seidham nammalukku vandu neenga mudiyum and other ages you thought bad you get reactions bad thoughts would get your reactions but in kali yuga you have to do something bad before you get the reactions so matra yuga kala vandha nam nenaithale vandha namalukku vandu kettadu nadakkum ana kali yuga kala vandha adha nam vandha nenaithal adha nam seidhal dhaan namalukku vandha andha kettadu nam but the most important thing about the kali yuga is it simply by chanting the holy names of the lord you can get all success so kali yuga la vandu bhagavanade thirunaamathu sonnale namalu sandhe ella vidamana varagala namalu kadai so then the question comes what name to chant what mantra to chant there are so many mantras maybe i should chant some other mantra why chant hari krishna so kalayathala vandu thirunaamam nu solla porugindarkala ana endu yaarude thirunaamathai solvathu endu namakku kulpamaga irukkindathu so bhagavad gita lord krishna describes if you worship the gods if you worship the devatas different from vishnu and krishna if you worship the demigods then you go to the planets of the demigods just like if you worship surya you go to the sun You worship Chandra, you go to the moon. You worship Kuvera, you go to Kuvera's place. You worship Shiva, you go to Kailash. So the Sri Krishna Bhagavan Gita la kori kinda nam yanda deva deya vande manakin kinda mo Surya deva no Chandra deva no nam yare manakin kinda no nam yaran to parika andha loga to nam chalu. But if you worship Lord Vishnu or Lord Krishna, then you go to him. you go to the spiritual world lord vishnu's abode is by kunda and lord krishna's abode is goloka vrindavan they're both beyond the material world they're in the spiritual sky so but aanmiga lokam irukindathu aanmiga lokathala vandu by kunda thala vandu krishna irukindha sir by kunda thala vandu vishnu irukindha goloka vrindavan thala krishna irukindha இவர்களை வழிபாடு நாம் செய்தோம் 
they are annihilated in the course of time. Even Lord Brahma's planet is annihilated. At the end of the day of Brahma, the planet is also annihilated. Well, not the day of Brahma, end of the life of Brahma, the planet is annihilated. So, in the planets, in the Dada, in the Lada, 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 Right? From the highest planet, the planet of Brahma, down to the lowest, all are places of birth and death. So, Bhagavan, Kirila Kurikindra, Ha, Brahmana Loka, Puna, Vrishana, Ardhana. Bhagavan Sarva, Adhan, Brahma Loka, Vrishana, Padana, Nagarajan, Nirepa, Pirapa, Irikindra, But, Lord Krishna's abode is not birth and death. There's no birth and there's no death. There's only eternal life of bliss and knowledge. What to speak of Lord Krishna's abode, Lord Vishnu's abode also in Vaikuntha. Vaikuntha means no anxiety. We are in the place of Kunt. This world is all anxiety. But you go to the spiritual world, no anxiety. So Krishna is saying, you chant my name, you get more benefit. Of course somebody may say, oh well, I will chant the names of the demigods, I will worship Shiva, or I will worship Ganapati or I will worship Amma or Murga, then you will go to their planet and their planet is not in the spiritual sky. So, but you go, you worship Krishna, you worship the Supreme Lord Vishnu, then you can go to the spiritual sky. So sometimes people will chant Vishnu Sahasranam. They will chant 1,000 names of Lord Vishnu. And they will think, I am the devotee of Lord Vishnu. I will chant the 1,000 names of Lord Vishnu. Yes, very good. You chant the holy name. Certainly you will get the benefit. But 1,000 names of Vishnu is equal to one name of Lord Rama. That was described by Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva himself told his wife Parvati that you don't need to chant all the names of Lord Vishnu. You just chant the holy name of Lord Rama. The name of Lord Rama is equal to all the 1,000 names of Vishnu. Lord Shiva's words are very famous. Rame Rame Namo Rame Sahasra Nama Vistuyam Shri Rama Nama Varanini Lord Shiva is saying Sahasra Nama Vistu Shri Rama Nama One thousand names of Vishnu is equal to one name of Lord Rama. And then it's also said three names of Lord Rama is equal to one name of Lord Krishna. Lord Krishna's name is very powerful. It is stated in the Padma Puran. Uh, 
that is taking Nam Chintamani Krishna. Nam Chintamani Krishna. The name of Krishna is Chintamani. It is a wish fulfilling touchstone. Just like if you have a touchstone, you can change anything into gold. You can fulfill all your desires. So the holy name of Lord Krishna is also like touchstone. It can transform all of our desires. All of our desires can be fulfilled. Our spiritual desires. So Bhagavad Nam Chintamani Krishna Chaitanya Rasa Vikraha Purna Shuddha Nitya Mukta Vinak Nam Nama Namino The holy name of Lord Krishna is completely pure and transcendental. It is not different from Krishna himself. So Bhagavan is the Trinam of the Bhagavan of the Samamadi of the Bhagavan of the Namo Bhagavan of the Kadaya. We want to get association with Lord Krishna, then chant his holy name. Just by chanting the holy name of Lord Krishna, you can be with Krishna. So Krishna appears on your tongue when we chant. So Krishna is the one who 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 is the one we want to encourage people everywhere to chant the holy name. Other mantras, there are many conditions, many rules, different times. Oh, can only chant this time, this place. Oh, no, you have to be pure to chant this mantra. Oh, you have material desires. No, you cannot chant this mantra. There are so many rules, but Maha Mantra can be chanted by everyone. Even we have material desires, we can chant the holy name of the Lord and become purified. Just like Dhruv Maharaj, Dhruv Maharaj in the Satya Yuga, he was a young boy and he was given the mantra by Narada Muni to chant. He was given the 14 syllable mantra, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. And Dhruv Maharaj chanted that. He had material desires, but it became purified by chanting. So Dhruv Maharaj there was a person called Ajamila. Ajamila was a sinful. He, had, he was born a Brahmana, but he became fallen. He became very sinful. But because he had a son called Narayan, he got rid of all of his sinful reactions. So Ajamal Vandhi had a Bhavanga Naira Saita, a Brahma Raga Saita, a Nariya Bhavanga Saita. But here in the Pana, a Nariya Bhavanga Saita, a Paya Vandhi Narayan. So Narayan and the Kuran Nara Vandhi had a Saita Bhavanga Naira Saita. He had done a lot of sins, but because he called for his son, Narayan, he was saved from going to hell. And the Vishnu Duras came and protected him. They wouldn't let the Yama Duras take him to hell because he chanted the holy name of Narayan at the time of death. <laughs> So in this way his sins were destroyed and after his sins were destroyed then he understood he better become more serious about using his life 
in a proper manner and he, he, he stopped all of his sinful activities and he went to live in a Vishnu temple and he took up devotional service and he was able to give up his body in course of time and go back to God. So, Bhavadal Sayyidu Nala Mana Vandha Vishnu Nala Tariyamal Purna Nala Adhan Vandha Varam Karitthade Adhan Vandha Bhagavan Arthurumam Bhagavan Arthurumam Bhagavan Arthurumam Agi Vishnu Nala Yengala Sayyidu Sayyidu Nala Vandha 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 We see Draupadi, Mother Draupadi was in a very difficult situation. Her husbands had bet her in a gambling match and they'd lost the bet. So Draupadi became the property of the Kurus. And Dushasan took Draupadi and he tried to take off her sari. He tried to disrobe her. Even though Draupadi had five husbands, none of them could help her. So what did she do? She took the shelter of Lord Krishna's holy name and she surrendered to Krishna and she called out, Hey Govinda! And Krishna came in the form of the unlimited sari and protected her. So Draupadi had five husbands, none of them could help her. So what did she do? She took the shelter of Lord Krishna's holy name and she surrendered to Krishna and she called out, Hey Govinda! And Krishna came in the form of the unlimited sari there was a hunter called Magrari who had killed many animals. He was killing animals in a very cruel way. But he got the mercy of Narada Muni and he understood he should stop killing the animals. So he was so simple, he couldn't chant the holy name. They want the, Narada was telling him to chant Rama, Rama. He couldn't chant. He said, no, I, I can't chant that name because that's the name of the Lord. He couldn't chant. So then Narada Muni said, then chant Mara, Mara. We say, oh yes, I, I, I like that. I can chant Mara. Mara means death. So he, he could chant Mara, Mara, Mara. But as he went on chanting Mara, 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 it became Rama, Rama, Rama. And he got the benefit of the holy name. So, so we want you to understand the importance of the holy name. Ajamila chanted the holy name and was delivered. Valmiki, the hunter, and, and uh, Magrari, the hunter, they chanted the holy name and they were delivered. Draupadi chanted the holy name and she was delivered. Uh, we can also be delivered. In the Kali Yuga, there is no other way but the chanting of the holy name. So, if Magrari, Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, great Acharya in the line of the Siprit succession, he, he is called out to everyone, Jeev Jago, Jeev Jago, Gora Chanda Bole. He is saying, wake up sleeping souls. Lord Chaitanya is calling. So Bhakti Vinod Thakur Nampode Parapandu Varapadi Varacharya Rana Sarva Jeev Jago Jeev Jago Yavala Naira Vandha Jeevtu Ki Kunde Yirupani Sikram Hedu Amdhya Ki Kuri Kinda. We are asleep to the purpose of Oh, Hare Krishna, Govinda.
<laughs> Every day comes, huh? Comes to get some food. So the chanting of the holy name is very important. You can see it attracts all living entities. Even the cows coming here they, to hear the glories to the holy name. Lord Chaitanya was in the forest of Jarakanda and he was getting all the wild animals to chant the holy name. And even the wild and ferocious animals would become gentle by the chanting of the holy name. So we in, in the Krishna Consciousness Movement our program is to encourage everyone in the chanting of the Holy Name. It's the most important instruction coming from Srila Prabhupada. He wants everyone to take up this chanting of the Holy Name as a regular business. We have many activities to do every day, but the most important thing which we have to do is to chant the Holy Name. The chanting of the Holy Name becomes that we understand there are three stages in the chanting of the Holy Name. There's offensive chanting, there's intermediate or shadow of the Holy Name, and there's pure chanting. So in the Bhagavan Rathirnama, the Sarvata Murta Nenegal is in the day, 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 in the day. So to get the real benefit from the Holy Name, we have to avoid offenses in chanting. And the most common offense, the most common offense is inattentive chanting. We are chanting the Holy Name without proper attention. What to do? How can we give more attention to the Holy Name? One thing to do is to chant loudly. That's very important. Chant the name out loud. Don't just chant in your mind. You cannot control your mind. You cannot chant in the mind. You're not so good, so pure that you can chant in the mind. There are many thoughts come in the mind. You have to, you have to ch chant loudly to get free of the doubts, to get free of the offenses that will help us to chant with proper attention. So Bhagavan Adaya in the Gaudam Namalaka Varavayana Mitra Namalaka in the Thirunamathe Urakamaga Sallavetu. Manatalana Illama, Vayanal Urakamaga in the Thirunamathe Purina Namalaka and the Suvay Namalaka Varavayana. It's also better to chant in the morning than in the evening. Early morning is a good time to chant. The Brahma Muhurta time is in the morning. In the daytime, there's many things to be done, many things happening in the day, you get your distract, you're distracted, your phone is ringing, and the people, and you're thinking about eating and so on. But early in the morning, you wake up and you just chant. You don't think about eating, you don't think about calling anyone, you just think about chanting the holy name. So,
பகவானுடைய நாமத்தை முதல்ல ஜபம் பண்ணும்போது நாம மனத்தை கட்டுப்படுத்தணும் and a good place to chant is also important you need a place where you can give your full attention to the holy name sometimes there are many things to distract you in your home you have many things at home just distracting you but you want to chant you should come to temple come and see the deities you can come here to temple the temple is here open in the morning you can come and sit and chant here you can or you can have a temple in your home you have to make a temple in your home you have to have a room where you just worship god where you have your pictures of krishna where you have an altar and where you can sit and chant without being distracted so sir nanamla vandu nam endha idangalla vandu indha jam seyyirundhu mukkiyamaana oru andamaga irukkirathu so nam vandu nammude mana alai payamaga irupadhukku nam vandu aalaiyala vandu jam seiyala sila veenigale vandu aalaiyamaga maatri nam vandu valipaadu idangalla vandu thirunaamaga nam solalam so this is the process by which we can actually get success in our spiritual life in the kali yuga we have to chant the holy name and the maha mantra is there for everyone to chant you don't have to be initiated everyone can chant so in the tirunavathi solvadarku vandu namm ellarkum indha vaayppai aagirundathu So, uh, the, the one that I'm the the in the the But the first thing is you have to chant. You have to develop a taste for the holy name. people say oh i have no taste i have no interest then you have to chant more and by doing more chanting then you will get taste sila nerangala vandu namme andha ruchi kadakama irukum so bhagavana thirunavathe solla solla andha ruchi nanda taste andha andha ruchi namme nichayamaga padikum you have no taste because you have no because you're so diseased you're so contaminated with material desires with the so many dirty things in the heart they stop us from having any taste for the holy name sir nanu and the ruchi and the ruchi namalu kadakala kaaranam enna sonna nam jada vaangina vandu moolgi irukindro so idilende nam konja konja maaga vidu pattaalda nam the ruchi namalu nichayam aagum so we want all of you to chant the holy name faithfully and to experience krishna consciousness நான் <laughs> Rama and put another asana on the other side for Narada Muni 
And he said, they like to come during the kirtan. They like to come to see the art. So, they may come. At this Prabhupada wanted us to have chairs there for them, asanas for them, so that they could come and attend the art. So, Prabhupada, I can't remember that they are going to attend the so Maharaj Guru Gita, I am very much angry. Usually, very much angry. But now, when we say that we are not going to be able to do that, we are going to be able to do that. We are going to be able to do that. We are going to be able to do that. We are going to be able to do that. We are going to be able to do that. We are going to be able to do that. We are going to be able to do that. We are going to be able to do that. We are going to be able to do that. We are going to be able to do that. Lord Krishna and they also came in the past times of Lord Chaitanya. So you put it under there because Krishna and Varma Vantara are they put on the Sri Chaitanya Mahapur Vantara was there. When the Lord comes, when the Supreme Lord comes and the demigods they also like to come to take part in his past times. So Krishna and Varma Vantara are they put on the Sri Chaitanya Mahapur Vantara. Where are the pain with him? Thank you, Prabhu. Manda Manda. So how many of you are chanting 16 rounds? Who is chanting 16 rounds? Ethan and Bering, Manda 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 Good. And how many of you are initiated? Who is initiated? Ethan and Bering, Manda 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 Oh, okay, only a few. So, this, this month is very special. December is a festival month. Of course, Christmas, the New Year. But also, we have also Ratiatra in Malaysia. It's Ratiatra month. Singing support will have Ratiatra. Of course, if you can go up to Penang and Todu, a Butterworth up there, they're having Ratiatra. Klein is having Ratiatra. So and then in, in the new year, there will also be Ratiatra at KL in, uh, in, in the Jagannath Mandir. Malakam. Huh? Malakam. Malakam on the new year day. Yeah. So many programs, many festivals, and His Holiness Banaswami is coming again to be here for the festivals. So a lot of association. So we encourage all of you try to take part, try to join in as much as you can. Take advantage for the association. So long we didn't get the opportunity because of the pandemic, because of the lockdown. So many years, three years, we had no Ratiyatras. So now, for the first time in three years, we are having nice festivals. So it's a great opportunity for all of us to awaken our spiritual lives. All right, any, any question, anybody? Everybody? All right, who's reading Prabhupada's books? How many of you are reading Srimad Bhagavatam every day? You're reading every day? Very few people. So, so Maharaj Kena is in the middle of the Prabhupada Bhushanka Parikara, Srimad Bhagavatam and Parikara, they do the same thing. Yeah, few people only. Yeah. You have to hear regularly, every day. You want to hear. It's a medicine. We have to chant every day, we have to hear also every day. We have daily program. And if you, if you want to stay healthy, you have to hear, you have to chant. Hear the holy name, chant the holy name. Hear the Srimad Bhagavatam or hear Bhagavad Gita. We, we, had, we just had Gita Jayanti a few weeks ago. Did you all celebrate? Did you read the Bhagavad Gita? Yes. On Gita Jayanti? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? 
So you have to also read every day, not just Gita Jayanti, not just that one day. Every day you have to read. There are many devotees, they make a vow, a chapter a day, one chapter a day, Bhagavad Gita. And if you read one chapter a day, how many days will it take you to finish the Bhagavad Gita? Yes, 18 days, right? And when you finish, then you read it again. And then you read it again. And then you read it again. And after you've read it half a dozen times or ten times, then you start to understand it. You start to know it a bit better. You need to read these books. Prabhupada said, I did not write the books just for you to sell. How many of you are selling Prabhupada's books? Anybody? Anybody distributing the book? Yes? You're also distributing? Yes? Good. Okay, two or three people, three people, three ladies. You know, book distribution is our family business. We have a family business. Book distribute. If you can distribute some books, it's very good. You get some books and distribute them to people. It's a nice present to give. You want to give present at Christmas time? Give prophet book. <laughs> Let them read prophet's book. We all need to try to do some book distribution. There are many devotees there waiting to meet Krishna. People are suffering without Krishna consciousness. We should try to give them Krishna. Try to give them a book. If you can't give them a book, give them some prasadam. Take some prasadam, carry some prasadam with you. Give them some prasad. Somehow or other, you have to try to give Krishna consciousness. This is our duty as devotees. We must think how to benefit, how to help people. Because this is Kali Yuga and people are suffering. There are many miseries. People are having so many problems, so much anxiety, so much misery and depression. Everywhere there are so many problems of suicide and drug addiction, alcohol addiction, so many problems. People need Krishna consciousness. We have to try and give them Krishna consciousness. Try to reach out to help people. So this is our duty. So thank you very much. Hare Krishna. So, Maharaj, you can follow the Vendapana Kalu channel, December and January, and the Nadia Thirula to click in the net. So, in the Maharatana, Nadia Radhavala, and the Nadia Radhavala, so Dr. Gali, and the wife and the wife, 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 so, I am a 